The man accused of shooting and killing a tow truck employee faced a judge today. Thank you for joining us at 4. I'm Kirsten Joyce. And I'm Brian Loftus. Now, police say this man, 27-year-old Jayton Herter, ran from the scene after pulling the trigger and was caught hours later. Happened yesterday, just before 11 o'clock in the morning near the Arts District at the intersection of Commerce and Wyoming. Victoria Saha is live now with how they tracked down that individual. Victoria. Yeah, when I first got here today, an employee for All In Towing confirmed that it was their business that had the shooting and that one of their employees had died. Today, the business was closed, but there were flowers and candles left on their doorstep. A business that's usually bustling, now quiet, as employees of All In Towing mourn their colleague, Jonat Dominguez. Every morning I came in, he was outside, and I just waved to him and said good morning. I mean... I've been over to his place also for notary work and I'm, I'm still in shock. A woman who works across the street and didn't want to be identified says she could see from her window the chaos unfolding Tuesday morning. An arrest report obtained by 8 News Now reveals on Tuesday, 27-year-old Jayan Herter walked into the business to pick up his rented Tesla that was towed. But there was some paperwork that wasn't notarized. This is when an employee went to get Dominguez. The employee tells police Dominguez wouldn't give Herter the car without the proper paperwork. This upset Herder. The report goes on to say that is when he pulled out his gun and shot Dominguez, then ran off. It just happened so fast that the next thing we knew, all the ambulance and all the police cars were here. Dominguez died at the hospital, but as police began to piece this together, they got a call from an attorney in Henderson saying Herder was in his office and wanted to turn himself in. He made his first court appearance on Wednesday. I tried speaking to the employees inside, but obviously they were very distraught. I am told that Dominguez was also a partner in this company, but there's no word on when this business will be opened back again. Reporting in downtown, Victoria Saha, 8 News Now.